Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Journey to 300. Today, I'm outside, I'm not shooting an indoor 300 game. I'm gonna do a, a practice day. And, and what I'm gonna do is, I don't know what I'm gonna call it, the 10 yard challenge, the 110 yard challenge, but I'm gonna shoot one arrow, cold, no warm ups, at every 10 yards. So 10, 20, 30, 40, all the way up to 100. So hopefully there'll be 10 arrows only <laughs> in the yellow. Uh, I don't have high hopes. It is a little breezy out. I I'm shooting arrows that aren't necessarily made for super long range, but we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna give it a shot. I'm not sure how far out my sight tape even goes right now. I think I can get about 80 yards out of it. And after that, we're gonna be doing a little bit of guessing. So we'll see how it ends up, but we're gonna start right now at 10 yards. Twenty, thirty, and forty. Still in the yellow. I'll take it. As you can see, the farther you get away from the target, naturally, the more your mistakes have an impact. That forty-yard shot dropped two inches low. It was still in the yellow. I'm still happy with it. We'd call that a nine. Uh, however, I'd like to keep it all in the ten ring. I must have probably broke down on my form and released the arrow and then uh, not done a, follow, a proper follow through, kind of going like this to watch it. That's my guess, only because that's normally what I do when I shoot low. But here at 50, 60, 70, I love shooting these uh, yardages. Not that I would ever take a hunting shot this far. However, there are some 3D courses that'll have this stretched out and when you're shooting 50, 60, 70, it really makes 10, 20, 30 in the heat of the moment really seem like a chip shot, really seem easy. It really builds my confidence. So let's see how I do on these longer ranges. I just realized I never changed my dial. So I shot that 60 yard shot with my 50 yard pin. I bet you that's why it went low. See, mistakes happen. But here we are at 70 yards. Let's see how this goes. 70 yards is quite a poke. I was just thinking this entire challenge takes 550 yards total, all the way from 10 up to 100 added together. So we're gonna call this the 550 challenge. Did not feel like a good shot. I couldn't really find the middle. I think it went pretty far left, but that's why we're doing this today. Up, well, let's go see how we did 50, 60 and 70. <laughs> not a great round. Um, 50 is not bad. It's in the red. My uh, elevation was pretty good. I must have just torqued just right or left just a little bit. 60, my right and left is perfectly fine, except for I didn't change the setting on my sight. So that's a 10 yard gap from 50 to 60. Quite a bit of drop there actually. That's interesting to see. 70, my elevation was good but I certainly, I must have been torquing. So it looks like at longer range, when I miss, I do miss a little bit left. Now that could be the sights out of adjustment, it could be the wind, but I'm not gonna blame anything but me. I'm sure it's probably me. But for 50, 60, and 70, I didn't do too great. <laughs> 
I'm not gonna hide it. I'm not gonna reshoot it. I wanted to show you guys so that if I, when I do this again, I can show you the improvement. Let's go shoot 80, 90, and 100. Now, as we get out to the 80, 90, and 100 marks, I do have a sight tape that goes all the way to 100. However, I won't have enough, cl enough clearance on my scope housing to shoot that. Because where the arrow comes off of the rest, it would make contact with the bottom of the scope housing, and that's no bueno. So how we check that is just take your arrow, lay it in there, and we can knock it up. And then on the bow itself, depending on what type of rest you have and everything, but on the bow itself, you have these little holes right here. And those are called the burger buttons. And generally what you want to do is have your arrow running directly through them. Now again, this is not scientific. This is just uh, checking things out by eye. But you can see if I go to right here where the burger buttons are, it's gonna be really close to that scope housing. But how do we know? What we actually do is flip the bow around and take your fletching, okay, and put the arrow in backwards. And you go right through the D loop there and through the burger buttons. And then kind of eye it like this. And from this angle, Nope, it looks like 80 is going to be, is going to make contact. So we're gonna stick with our sight at about 75 and have to hold high. See how it works. It's on paper. Okay, we are now at 90 yards and it looks like my holdover was about perfect. Again, I missed left. So that's got me thinking that I'm doing something because it's pretty consistently left. But here we are at 90 yards and we're gonna go ahead and hold about 10 inches high with my 75 yard pin and see how that works out. Oh, hit the ground. <laughs> Totally missed. I hit the ground and skipped up. So, going to have to hold a lot higher on this next shot, which will be 100 yards. All right, well, here we are. The granddaddy of them all. The 100-yard shot. The John Dudley warm-up. Not that target. This one way out there. 100 yards. I'm going to hold quite high with my 75 yard pin and we're going to see what we get. Shot low. Well, I missed at 90 and I missed at 100. Well, as we walk up, we can see my 80 yard shot there in the target. 90 yard and 100. Now, if you've been watching the Journey to 300 all along, you may think, oh my God, this guy doesn't shoot 300s. This guy has sponsors. This guy just missed three out of 10 shots. I shoot 100 yards in my backyard all the time. Yeah, you're right. From the get-go, this entire series is about showing what an average archer will go through as he improves and i guarantee you i'm going to improve that was the first time i've ever done some of the shots that uh, i just pulled off and i'm actually not terribly sad about the outcome some of them were good some of them were bad some of them felt good one i made a mistake stuff happens this is archery no one's perfect and if i was perfect this wouldn't be any fun I want to thank you for watching along and I want to make sure you guys like, subscribe, and click that bell down below to get notifications on the rest of our videos. 